So the first thing you will need is an extension base net. I got this one from Lazuli Wikit Kenya. I will link them in the description box below. Secondly, you will definitely need the hair that you want to crochet. I am using Spring Twist by Darling, which I got from this lady. You will also need a conditioner that you'll use to soften the hair, making it easy to separate and detangle. You'll also need a bobby pin that you will use to crochet the hair on the extension net. Before I detangle the hair, I will apply the conditioner in order to soften it. So I will use just a small amount, a little goes a long way. Something you need to, to note is that this is my first voice over ever. So I'm a little test up and I don't know what to say. I hope you'll bear with me. So this is the curl pattern of the hair and I chose it because it is almost close to my curl pattern. I will carefully separate the hair into small sections. Okay, that's not careful, but you get the point. So this is the first section that I will use and I will crochet it along the perimeter of the hair. That is where I will start I will start crocheting the hair along the perimeter and then after that I will crochet now on the remaining spaces. So I will put the hair in between the bobby pin as you have seen and pass the bobby pin through one of the holes in the net. Once the hair is through the hole I will pass it back again through another hole that is close to the first hole in order to form a loop you'll be able to see the loop shortly okay it's, it's taking quite some time because actually this is my first time trying to make this extension now it's successful so i'll pass it through another hole close by the first hole Form the loop that you will see there now that's the loop so here I will remove the bobby pin and tie and pass the hair through the loop twice in order to secure it and make sure it doesn't unravel So I will repeat this process again and again until I have crocheted through the entire perimeter. Again, I separate the hair into small sections and then oh my, I keep losing <laughs> this bobby pin. And then I'll place the hair in between the bobby pin, as you can see. After doing so, I'll repeat the process that I have just showed you. I'll pass the bobby pin through one of the holes and then back again through another hole close to my first hole, close to my previous hole. So I will do this throughout the entire the entire extension net and then I will come back once I am done.
so now i am done doing the entire hair and this is how it looks i did not crochet the uh, the area near the drawstring just to allow me to be able to tighten the crochet i mean the extension on my hair so that is just like an allowance and no one will even notice let me just show you you see so in the next video i will do a tutorial on how to wear the extension i hope you enjoy this video kindly don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also share with your friends bye bye